In addition to our weather team and reporters, elite storm chasers fanned out following the tornadoes as they hit the ground. And Derek Massengale joins us live on the phone right now. Derek, I know you followed this storm from North Tulsa all the way up into Rogers County. Kind of describe for us what you saw. Well, Brian, we started actually at 76th Street North, as you said, North Tulsa, and uh, where the tornado formed and started on the ground. And we continued to follow it, as you mentioned, all the way into Rogers County and actually into Mays County. And we actually saw the tornado cycle several times, and we actually drove through the outer band of the tornado um, near Owasso as it crossed 169 and had a lot of debris in, in that area. So I know there was some damage in that area as well, and uh, we'll go take a look at that tomorrow. But it was, uh, it was an impressive system, and uh, I know that there's a lot of people that are, that are really hurting tonight. So we're just uh, glad we could get some early warning out there. And, Derek, can you give us an idea of, of how wide these tornadoes were, how long they were on the ground maybe? That tornado was really a long-lived tornado. I was really surprised with uh, what we saw tonight. It, it started at 76th Street North, and I'm not 100% sure, but I, I think it was on the ground until I uh, lost it near uh, prior, actually. Um, and it, it skipped. It did, it did lift some at that time or over that period of time, but it was a very long-lived tornado um, and a, a long-lived complex that uh, was really not expecting, and uh, it did a lot of damage throughout that area. We actually saw not only the debris on 169, but we saw a lot of power poles that were snapped off on highway on uh, Road 500 near uh, Claremore. Well, we appreciate you being on the front lines and keeping everyone safe out there. Thank you. You bet.